Hey y'all, it's Linda from LA Plans and today I will share how I set up my coffee bar with y'all for Halloween. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, right now it's all put together so this is the end result, but I will show y'all every step in between and how I put this together. I absolutely love this year's theme as well as this year's look. Um, it just makes me really happy. I know it's really early, but I honestly don't care. Um, I love Halloween, it's my favorite holiday, and I absolutely love this setup. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I have everything organized. So I have some planters, and I'm not a plant person. Um, I've recently just purchased cactus, and that was two. Um, but I have these planters because I got like these, like decorative pieces. But this year I've decided to do a theme for the coffee bar and so we're going to use all of this to do a witch's coffee garden so it goes with one of the planters. But I have these separated and then this is all for my bar cart and I will have a video on decorating my bar cart as well. These are just bowls um, for candy for Halloween so I'm going to keep these in storage for right now. Um, but I'm just separated all this so that's out of the way. Um, and I have everything kind of organized. I'm keeping the paper to wrap everything back up when, you know, Halloween's over. So we're just gonna keep that to the side and then I'm just move that. And then for now, this is what we currently have. So last year, I know I used these large pumpkins up here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that again this year. Again, I don't want it to be the exact same as last year. I wanna like switch it up. Um, I'm probably gonna buy other pieces based on what they come out with um, but for the most part I really like what I have so we have some canisters that I'm gonna put in here um, I put Mira's um, like rawhide chips in here and we use that um, with treats I also put her um, dog treats in here but so we're, I'm gonna put that somewhere on the bottom shelf so it's easy to grab um, I have these bats from Kirkland's and so I need to grab some thumbtacks and we're just gonna hang them around again I did like that um, I'm not sure if I'm going to, again, add the bowls. I might wait. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to, again, switch it up. So we'll see. Um, but I have these glitter pumpkins up here from Hobby Lobby. Um, those bats are from Kirkland's as well. They all came together. We have these witches hats. Um, we have a haunted house. And then I have this pumpkin, um, again, from Hobby Lobby. And so I'm going to grab all of my Halloween cups and take them out. And so here are the mugs and it's just a variety of everything. So I'm going to put this here and figure out what I want to do with everything. And I will go over everything once I figure out exactly what we're doing.
y'all and so that was a lot of clips from different days so as i found different already done items or as i ordered items and they came in um i lost some of the clips that i recorded so um i do apologize for that but i'm just gonna go over everything with y'all so y'all can see and i just i love love this coffee bar this year so we have the Kirkland's bats around the coffee bar. And then I have all of the mugs up top. I added the witch's hats from Hobby Lobby on the orange ones. And then the little stands are from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, I have the center boo mug. And then um, I'm gonna try and do something different here. I just haven't decided yet um, with the witch's brew cauldron row. So the set, that middle row, um, I absolutely love the Witch's Brew Culture. By the way, that is my favorite piece that they came out with this year. And I was so excited when I got it. Um, and I also love the little mugs. So we have those on there and I just made that like a simple, like black and white um, shelf, but I feel like I wanna do something else to it. So we'll see as like more Halloween and fall items come. And of course I'll update y'all, but for now, still love this. And then on this middle row, we have the new spooky hat from Raiden. And then the dog treats for Mira, these candles, and then the orange pumpkins, and just assorted bats. And then we have the witch's garden. And so I did put copy that expired in here um, for an added effect. I don't know, I, it smells really nice. That's about all it does. I honestly didn't mind it with just the orange showing. But either way, here is this portion. And then I found the boo and the spooky Ray Dunn pumpkins just love the way that they look and then it just adds that little something extra on here but i absolutely love the coffee bar this is the final setup or at least the current setup um as i find more redone pieces or decor pieces i'll add to it and then um, i'll share updates with y'all but let me see if i can get like a wide angle so y'all can see everything um and then here is everything all together so other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.